In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an essay or a blog or a long form piece of content using chat GPT. I'll be showing you how to do that in just a few simple commands. And if you stay until the end, I'll also show you a pro tip, which is unbelievably handy if you own a blog. If this video helps you, please support the channel by liking this video and subscribing. Hi, my name is Marty Englander and I am a full-time content creator who uses tools like ChatGPT and general AI writing every single day. Using tools like ChatGPT can significantly improve your efficiency of your task, but this does not mean you don't need to fact check things. So make sure to double check all the output and that it's factually correct. With this being said, let's go ahead and start the tutorial. First, you want to head over to chat.open.ai.com and create yourself a free account. The first thing that we want to do is get ChatGPT to generate some ideas for us, which also starts the learning progress of this tool. So let's go ahead and start off with our first command which is write five ideas and then you want to put in the topic. So I'm going to do write five ideas for the impact of glo global warming on the world. Okay and then press enter. You can see that ChatGPT is now starting to write a listicle of items or more specifically ideas about the specific topic we asked it for. Note that you can change how many ideas you want it to generate for you and you can also put in any topic that you want. So now that it's generated the five ideas for us, I'm going to go ahead and select item four. Now we can ask ChatGPT to expand on the previous information that it's generated for us. And to do this, it's a really simple command. So all we're going to do is say write an essay outline 4.4. See, all we've done here is said write. So we're telling it we want it to write for us. And then we're getting specific with what style writing we want, which is an essay outline and then instead of us rewriting this idea here we're just saying 0.4 because ChatGPT remembers the past information it's generated for us in a thread and we're going to get a little bit more specific with this command because you can uh, mix match and join together different commands in a single command so I'm just going to say with headings so all I've actually said here is I want ChatGPT to write me an essay outline 4.4 and I want it to include heading and then press enter. And now you can see it's starting doing exactly what we just asked it to do. So it's just done a heading, which is an introduction. And then it's done some outlines for that introduction. And now it's just continuing the overall outline for this essay or blog or long form content. Okay, and just like that, we have a full outline. Now we get into the fun bit, which is getting ChatGPT to start writing about all of the outlines. So to do this, we're moving on to step three, which is very similar to step two, just a slight variation of what we're asking ChatGPT. So all we're gonna be doing here is asking this tool to write a paragraph for every heading that it's just generated for us in the outline. So here's what we're going to write. Write a paragraph for each point, because what we're asking it to do here is each point of these things here. So this is a point, this is a point, this is a point, and include headings so it is sectioned like an essay. All we're doing for the commands is just telling it exactly what we want it to do for us. The more specific we are with ChatGPT, the better the outputs will be. So if we want headings, we need to tell it to give us headings. If we want it to elaborate or expand on a heading or create a paragraph or two paragraphs, we've got to tell it to do just that. Otherwise, it will do its best to accommodate us, but it will follow more generic formatting rather than the formatting that we actually want. So here all I've told it to do is I want it to write a paragraph for each heading and I want it structured like an essay. Let's go ahead and do enter. And now what it's done is it's kept the general format that we've asked it to do and it's expanded on each one of these points. So if you wanted to take this one step further and become a little bit more lazy you can literally just say turn this into a essay and do enter taking all the points from above and turning it into something a bit more readable uh, something a bit more formatted like the way we've just 
specified. And just like that, it's generated an essay or a blog or a piece of long form content for us. So let's move on to the pro tip. Now, if you own a blog, like a WordPress blog or something those lines, you'll know that in order to please Google, you need something called heading tags and paragraph tag, which falls under the category of on-page SEO. Now, instead of you manually adding all of these tags in, you can turn to ChatGPT and say something on the lines of convert this text into HTML and add heading tags and then do enter and just like that it's now writing all of this text again for us but including it in h1 you can see we've got the h1 tag we've got the paragraph tags it's even following the best structural format it's got h2 tags and again the paragraph tag etc and there we have it if you'd like me to cover anything else in chat gpt go ahead and leave your comment below followed with any questions you may have about this specific method thank you so much for watching